accordion is an instrument that takes many people back in time. For nearly five decades, a Minneapolis musician has made the old school squeeze box his full-time career. In tonight's Maury Stories, Maury Glover shows us why the accordion has sparked a lifelong love affair. Here we go. How you all doing here? <laughs> Black Forest Inn in South Minneapolis. Customers are letting the good times roll. But for nearly half a century, the man providing the soundtrack for the evening. It's part of people's heritage and their cultures, and a lot of people grew up with that instrument. Has made a living thinking outside the box. This is the instrument I love to play because it gives so much. It's a beautiful sounding instrument, and, and it's so much fun to play it for people. I love to go a wandering along the mountain track. The accordion has been Mark Stillman's main squeeze for almost 50 years. Everybody, bell three, bell three. And for just as long, he's been a freelance accordion player, performing at pubs, cabarets, and senior centers. Well, I play for everything. I play for weddings and private, you know, private parties like with birthdays and celebrations, anniversaries. Um, there's always a reason to have music. <laughs> Stillman actually grew up playing the piano and drums, but he's been hooked on the accordion since a friend let him borrow one while he was taking music classes at the U. I loved what the instrument was all about. It had bass, it had chords, you could play melody. And I just thought to myself, this is, this is what I've been longing for. You know, I want an instrument that I can play all these wonderful expressive melodies. He started out playing music from Eastern Europe, but quickly expanded his repertoire to include the sounds of France, Italy, and Ireland as well. Every country had that special something, and for me personally, I wanted to bring that on. I wanted to capture that lovely essence of the country where the music is from. One, two, three. Stillman says the accordion had its heyday in the 40s and 50s, when it was in the spotlight on TV shows like Lawrence Welk. It fell out of favor with the introduction of guitar-driven rock and roll. But now modern artists like Weird Al Yankovic can't read my, can't read my, no he can't read a my polka face feature it in their music and have helped spark a resurgence in interest. It all kind of changed as time went on and people kind of forgot what they thought of as corny music and all of a sudden the accordion became hip again. For Stillman, the accordion is about more than just polkas. Right. Is there any requests, any song you want to hear? Look at that. Really? <laughs> <laughs> He plays everything from classic rock to movie music. You want something different? This is in a movie called Napoleon Dynamite. And since he's a strolling performer, he has to play them all from memory. That's an instrument that, when you hear that, you're having fun. At 69, Stillman has no plans to retire. In fact, he's looking forward to embracing his favorite instrument for years to come. It's a great instrument to grow old with. You may be looked at kind of funny when you're 80 years old playing rock and roll, but when you're 80 years old playing an accordion, <laughs> it fits right in. <laughs> for Maury Story. Wow. Oh, thank you. Maury Glover. Box not. He's right. Yeah. yeah. You cannot smile and dance a little bit when yeah. you hear that, right? Oh, boy. Mm. It's a lost art, too. Well, if you have a story idea you think would make a good Maury's stories, send us an email to maury at fox.com.